How's it going? Tell me how you're doing today. Welcome back to Everyday Fitness, it's Liam and today we're doing something a bit different. We're doing how to lose belly fat in under five minutes, so we're going to rattle through it. First things first, just a disclaimer, this is obviously going to be quite broad because I don't have all the time in the world, I'm just going to get my points across. If you follow these steps, you will achieve fat loss in the areas that you want, okay? First thing that we need to do, first and foremost, calorie deficit. Uh, we go through it all the time. I don't need to patronise anybody into sort of telling them what a calorie deficit is. Just eat less than you're expending in terms of energy. Uh, simple as that. But whilst we're on the topic, quickly, protein intake must remain high. Okay, so I would opt for a minimum of 0.8 uh, grams of protein per pound of body weight and around to 1.2. Okay, work within them boundaries. Obviously, it's subjective to you. Okay, next up. Number two, we've got training. Resistance training is a must. Don't just do cardio because you feel like it's toning your legs, doing running or something, because you can't spot reduce body fat, unfortunately. Otherwise, we'd all be ripped to bits. So you can't do that, so that's not an option. So what we're actually going to have to do is stimulate our muscles in some form of way, aka resistance training. I'd be aiming to hit if you can and if it is practical for you to do so. Hit each muscle group twice a week if you can. It has been proven to be much more efficient than just the one. So don't opt for a bro split. Um, don't train chest, back, biceps, triceps, all on single days. I wouldn't do that. It's not going to be an efficient use of your time. So I would opt for potentially push pull legs twice a week. Um, upper, lower, upper, lower. Yeah, just work it around your circumstances is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Now that we've got out of the way, cardio is good for a tool, okay, but don't rely on it, okay? Because like I said, most people, um, when they're new to either their training or they uh, naively maybe think that that is what they need to do, it's not the answer, unfortunately. Resistance training is key and always will be, okay? Number three up on the board, we've got prioritise your sleep, mate, because it's important to recover from training. Do you know what I mean? If your sessions are hard enough and they're at an intensity that meets and aligns with your goals and what you want to achieve from your training, right? You're going to need to rest, aren't you? You're going to need to get your sleep. Um, this is often neglected because we don't feel sort of the effects of it uh, sort of directly, um, like straight away. However, over a course of potentially a few years, it'll catch up with you and you will feel like shit. Obviously, it's also going to have secondary effects, uh, including demotivating you sometimes you might just wake up because you're tired you can't be asked to do anything that's not the way to live is it mate we need to be positive with our outlook and that brings me on nicely to keeping stress low because if we if we are if we're high stress right what we're we gonna do with that where's that where's that gonna lead us it's not gonna lead us in a positive direction is it we need to make sure stress is low for a number of reasons now I'm not going to go into some reasons, however, I'm going to give you a couple of ideas to keep stress low. Okay, get outside, experience the world, mate. If you are bored at home, you're more likely to snack, okay, potentially crave and sort of just become demotivated and become entrapped into a Netflix series that you're not really that arsed about, you just don't have anything else to do. Get outside, by all means, be social hang out with friends, right, do what keeps you sort of de-stressed is what I'd say. Now, all four of these are just as important as each other, so don't implement two or three of them and not the fourth, right? And obviously, another disclaimer on the end of this, this isn't the be-all and end-all, these are the guidelines, these are the basic fundamentals, this is your basic sort of outline of what you need to be doing. If you're not doing any of this, right, if you're not prioritising your sleep, keeping stress low, resistance training potentially you're only doing cardio right your diet's not that great you're not in a deficit then you're gonna have to change some aspects of your routine okay and that is the last thing i want to quickly touch on routine and structure is gonna get you a long fucking way mate uh it's often overlooked as not really that important especially at a time like now lockdown we might not we might not have much structure or routine to stick to we might not have a reason to get out of bed Give yourself a reason and motivate yourself to be better. You you started this for some sort of reason, right? You've always got a why. You've always got something to revert to when times get tough. Stick to it, mate. See where it gets you because you never know. You'll be surprised. Happy days. We've done it under five minutes, right? 
If you like the videos that we're bringing out, okay, and you like this one in particular, it'd be great if you dropped it a like. Maybe even subscribe if you're new and you want to see weekly videos, because guess what? We upload them. Um, if you've got any questions, please let me know. Social media links are below as well. Hope you have a great day. It's been Liam from Everyday Fitness. See you later.